Hello guys and welcome back to another continuation of our assembly joint videos inside of Autodesk Inventor. So for this video we're going to be talking about the planar joint. Again, the planar joint is great when you're trying to essentially just combine two faces together, right, and have them flush to one another, uh, which is what we want to do in this case, right? So we want the clamp to be flush to the top of our table here. So again, going over to our joints, selecting the, the planar joint, and then once again, still keeping the best practice, right? So we want this component to be flush with the top of the table, right? So we want this top of the table. It's saying that the component, one of the components is grounded. In this case, we still want to move it, right? So it shows just the animation of the base, but once you click okay, it does bring the entire assembly over right so now what you can do this is also an, a great example of how you can combine both a joint and a constraint right so you can use the constraint to let's say measure you know you wanted this edge of the clamp to be parallel to this edge of the table we can go ahead and rotate it and you can say that we wanted it four inches away from it right so you can hit okay we can ground the base and then we can bring this assembly back into its original position, right? So now we know that this edge to the edge of the table is exactly four inches away, right? So again, you aren't limited to just either working with joints or constraints. You can combine both of these and give you a much better assembly and control over you know, what you want to assemble. So thank you guys for tuning in to the assembly series. Hope that helped you guys out a bit. See you on the next one.